everybody, Miss Kelly here. Today we are making tie-dye bandanas. Okay, this is going to be part of our series of virtual Wednesday programs that we have going on. Okay, we will uh, continue having stuff available here on our Facebook every Wednesday throughout June, or sorry, throughout July and into August. Okay. So uh, you'll have programs with Alex Thomas and friends, which are puppet programs that are animal themed. Okay. They will be available on our Facebook every Wednesday. Okay, so, so that's that's our plan for the summer is do some virtual Wednesday stuff. Okay, and today we are doing tie dye bandanas. Okay, in honor of the Fourth of July, we are doing them red, white, and blue. Okay. So you should have a bandana in your kit that you picked up. Okay. You also should have the little tie-dye kit that will have your tie-dye bottles. Okay. And it will also have gloves okay. and rubber bands for you, okay? Some other helpful things that you're going to want to get out are some either newspaper or something to protect your surface where you're gonna be doing your tie dyeing. Okay? I also found it was helpful to have a bowl, okay? Just a little plastic bowl that um, you can put underneath as you're dropping the tie-dye onto your bandana. Okay, that kind of made it a little easier when I made mine. Okay, this is my example. Okay, this is kind of just a random splotchy tie-dye pattern that I did. Okay, and we are going to kind of demonstrate another little pattern that you can do as well, okay? And I can also share the link where I got these supplies if you want, if you're interested in, in doing another one after we, after we make our bandana this morning. Okay. All right, so, so we want our surface we're doing the tie-dyeing on to be covered, okay? We don't want to get red, white, and blue all over wherever we're working, okay? And the first step is going to be filling up our dye bottles, okay? The kits, they come with powdered dye in each bottle. So all you have to do is fill it up to the line, which is actually pretty much just filling it up to the top of the bottle, okay? So you're going to need to do that for both bottles, okay? And you shake it a little bit to make sure it's all mixed up. Okay? Now this dye was mixed yesterday. According to the directions, it can be used for up to 72 hours after it's mixed, okay? So if you have extra dye and you happen to think of something else, to tie dye after you make your bandana today, you are you know should definitely be able to still still use it for another day or two, huh? All right, so we have our bandana, huh? And we have our dye. This is where the creativity comes in, okay? we have our rubber bands, okay? We can put the rubber bands anywhere that we want. Like I said, this was just kind of a splotchy pattern. I just gathered parts of the bandana with the rubber bands okay? and did it that way, okay? You can also make a swirl pattern, which is what I'm going to show you Right now, I'm gonna try a swirl, all right? And for that one, you start with your bandana laying flat, all right? 
And then you are going to twist in the middle, okay? You don't want it super tight. You want the dye to get through in your swirl. Mm -hmm. But you do kind of want the swirling pattern. Okay. Okay. You can leave the corners out if you want to leave the corners out, or you can kind of include them in your swirl as well. I'm going to try kind of including them. So basically, it's almost like you have like a rose kind of twist, or you can even say it's almost like a cinnamon bun, okay? It kind of twists in on itself. And then you're going to tie your rubber band around it. Okay. You can also tie one the opposite way as well. Okay. So you basically have rubber bands securing your little twisted up bandana. Okay. All right. Now you're going to put your gloves on, okay, because we don't want to get dye all over our hands. Okay. And I did I did that yesterday. So it's yeah it it comes off but it's better to just wear the gloves since they give them to you anyways. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to start adding our dye. Okay. So I'm going to start squirting it on different sections of our little twist here. Okay. You can almost do it like a different color on each quarter of the bandana. Okay. You don't have to cover the whole thing. Okay. So I did some red. Let's do some blue. If you're doing this like with a t-shirt, you can even like kind of do each quarter of the shirt a different color as well. Okay. Now you don't really want to mix up the colors too much because if you just mix up your red and your blue, you're just going to get purple as you can see on the bottom of my bowl. Okay. Now, if you did it where you have just the rubber bands twisted around random areas, okay, what you can do is you can do each little bunch is as a different color, okay, as either red or blue. All right, you can, you can basically do your tie dyeing however you like. You can experiment, okay, so we do have enough dye to do several things, to tie dye several shirts or bandanas or whatever you whatever you'd like. Okay. So you can get creative. Okay. Do multiple ones. Okay. So after you have your bandana covered with as much dye as you'd like, okay, then we are going to take our gloves off. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to either, we're going to cover our bandana with either plastic wrap or when I did my example yesterday, I just put it in a baggie. Okay. 
So either you can either rinse out the bowl and put your bandana back in the bowl with plastic wrap on top, or you can just put your bandana in a baggie. Okay, so I'm going to put it in a baggie. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to let it sit for about six to eight hours. Uh, you know, the longer it sits, the deeper the color will absorb. Okay, but six to eight hours is kind of going to be a good amount of time there. Okay, so by tonight, your bandanas should be you know, about ready. Okay, and once they are, once all the color is soaked in, all you're going to do is you're going to rinse it off. Okay, make sure all the extra dye is off your bandana. Okay. Rinse it off real good. And then you are going to wash it. Okay, you're going to put it in the washing machine with hot water. Okay, all by itself. You don't want to get dye in any of your other clothes. Okay, so you're going to wash your bandana all by itself. Just a little bit of laundry detergent and hot water. Okay, so you wash it by itself, then you dry it by, by itself, and It'll be complete. Okay. And you will have it to wear for the 4th of July. Okay. If you have any questions, please let us know. Okay. We'd love to you know, answer any questions you might have. I hope you tune in to our other programs this summer. Like I said, Wednesdays are pretty much going to be virtual stuff. So we have the Alex and Thomas and Friends virtual programs and uh, you know, other fun stuff on Wednesdays. So I hope you tune in to that. Okay. I hope you attend some of our fun programs at Burke Park. Okay. We have story time tomorrow. And next week we have animal crafts, which I think there's a few spaces available for that. I'm not quite sure, but I think I think there are. Uh -huh. So those are coming up, and I hope you join us for those as well. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in and making a bandana with me today. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.